Tonight, Governor Whitmer is expressing her support for the union workers striking against General Motors. She met today with UAW members picketing outside a GM plant in Lansing. A spokeswoman says the governor supports workers negotiating together for a better labor agreement. There are 49,000 UAW workers who began their strike at midnight, and they include workers at GM's plant on Burlingame in Wyoming. 13 on your side's Kylie Ambu is there live now with the latest. Yes, Juliet. So these workers have really been at it since around midnight on Sunday. Now we've been talking with reps from both GM and the union, and it sounds to me honestly like we're going to see another picket line tomorrow. And while workers out here have been keeping pretty tight lips about everything, their spokespeople haven't. Here's what both sides are fighting for. We are standing up for fair wages. We are standing up for affordable quality health care. We are standing up for our share of the profits. We are standing up for job security for our members and their families. We believe that we presented a strong offer to the UAW. Inside that offer is over $7 billion of investment in plants and new product programs that also impact 5,400 jobs, new or created. And in a Sunday letter, the UAW's vice president, he made it seem like things could be settling down, saying that if GM would have made its latest offer, it could have potentially, if they made it earlier, could have potentially avoided this strike. But the union's representative, Brian Rothenberg, is saying that's not the case. He actually revealed to us that they have only come to terms on about 2% of this four-year contract. So that still leaves 98% to go. Juliet. Kylie, thank you for that update. The work stoppage comes at a little more after a year of when GM showed off the new and improved plant at Wyoming. Now the company announced $119 million in upgrades at the 75-year-old facility. That was back in 2015. That investment created 300 jobs at the factory where workers make precision parts used in Chevy, Buick, GMC, and Cadillac vehicles. Currently, there are about 900 people employed at the plant.